Hello, thank you very much for watching the Sashiko Story Channel. This is Atsushi. I would like to share about Unshin. Unshin is the word for the needle movement in Japanese. Um, there may be several information about that, and I would like to show the difference between the Sashiko Unshin and also the Wasai Unshin. There are several kinds of Unshin, and I would like to share the difference. Both are great Unshin. They are just different. And um, one disclaimer. Please be advised that I am Sashiko artisan, not the Wasai craftsman, so there we go. First thing is how to hold the needle. We use this thimble in the round shape with the middle finger. Uh, in Wasaizu Unshin, we use the kind of this kind of middle finger. <laughs> I don't wanna, I don't want to use the middle finger, but this this this, this thimble. And quite shorter needle, probably half size of the sashiko needle. And it is the same idea of moving the needle, but it has a different form. And Japanese wasai is the term for the Japanese cloth tailoring, male making. So the process of making the Japanese clothes, such as kimono, is called wasai. This is the technique, this is the posture for the wasai unshin. Um, in the wasai unshin, we use the thumb and index finger and they move one stitch by one stitch as if it's, as if it's stepping. And after making many many stitches in the bundle, you can smooth the fabric. It is the same idea of like making, bunching up the stitches and make it smooth. But the, again, form is different and how to hold it is different. Let's see that again. You may see that um, the left hand is going up and down, up and down. That's how we make the stitches in Wasaizu Unshin. And the right hand is moving one stitch by one stitch as if it's like stepping. It's like a march. Uh, there are a lot of there, there are some tools to make your unshin much easier, much more productive uh, for the wasai unshin. So this is the I I am very much beginner. I'm very much amateur for this wasai unshin. So please check the other Japanese artisans wasai unshin's videos. They're very very good. Uh, the purpose of Unshin is different in Wasai and Sashiko. Sashiko is more like the stitching to make fabric stronger. Wasai is the tailor tailoring the Japanese clothing. It's the same as the difference between the Sashiko thread and the, the other, other thread. So please learn both Unshin to make sure that you can define I mean, before you define what Unshin is, I want you to learn both. At the same time, I want you to learn many kinds of Unshin in the Japanese history or in Japanese community. There are many kinds of Unshin, and I can practice only, I can practice several of those, and I'm sharing the difference between the Unshin, I'm sorry, the Wasai and Sashiko. It is not about being good or bad. Both Unshin is good. Both Unshin should be proud of so I just want you to know the difference and the unshin I am showing right now is for wasai and again I'm not very good at it. I have just practiced several. One last time let's see that um, actual stitches. Practice makes it better. At the same time having a good teacher makes it much much easier to learn. So please try to find a better teacher than I am. I'm not the best, I'm not a good teacher for Wasai Unshin, so please find somebody good, and I hope you can practice with a good guidance. It is different form from the Sashiko stitching, Sashiko Unshin, different, different tools, different needles, and different movement. I hope it makes sense. God, I'm very clumsy. I like to. I probably should practice, but at the same time, I'm so busy. I'm I'm not so busy. I'm I want to stitch in sashiko form. So, th th whenever I have a time to stitch, I kind of focus on sashiko. So, it's pro and cons. But 
I want you to choose which unshin you want to do instead of you choose because you cannot do it. This unshin probably you've seen that so many times in my channel. I share the sashiko live streaming where I stitch like this all the time. And it is very, very, very natural for me because I have been doing that for a long time. I don't even have to think, I don't have to even worry about it. I wasn't probably thinking when I was filming this. It's so natural for me that this is the unshin I am sharing and I'm teaching. And I call it sashiko unshin, unshin of sashiko. You can probably tell the difference. It, it is different from the unshin from wasai. And as, again, it is not being right or wrong or good or bad or better or worse. It is just different. So I want you to know the difference and this is the video about it. I know, I'm showing off. I'm sorry about it. <laughs> yep, that much stitches you can do. Make sure to smooth the fabric after you stitches because you make a lot of stitches at once. So I teach, I teach this unshin, sashiko's, unshin of sashiko over online. I used to teach in person, but now because of the COVID, I teach online mainly. Um, you can, of course, learn by looking and that's how the Japanese sashiko was passed by, passed down. However, it is very good to have a good guidance, good teacher. So I hope I can be your good teacher and by taking the online class you can learn efficiently and you can stitch like that as soon as a few hours. Uh, of course some people require more practice but that's how different everybody's hand and I can give you some personal attention for that. Alright this is the difference between sashiko and wasai's unshin. They are both good. I just want you to know that difference. There are difference. And that's good. That's good that we have many kinds of sashiko, many kinds of unshin, and that's how Japanese culture is formed. And I don't want you to define what sashiko is or what unshin is without knowing the whole picture. It is very difficult to look at the whole picture, but I would like to try to learn keep learning and that's what I'm doing as well. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you have any request for me to cover some specific topics, please leave the comment. I will do my best to cover that. Um, there are a lot of tutorials and stories already for the basic questions, so please check those uh, videos. The link will be in the description area. Um, I hope you enjoy sashiko stitching as well as the other kinds of unshin. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.